Let's see how to generate uh, Java thread DOMs using the JSTAG utility. The first step is to check that you have JSTAG installed. Um, it may be possible that you don't have it. You must have uh, the Java Developer Kit. There are a couple ways to check if you have the JDK. One is using the java-version command. Um, the other method would be using the Java C command, which is obviously included in the JDK. If you don't find the JSTAG command or you don't have the JDK for your system, you need to check the documentation. Um, now let's take a look at the JSTAG command. We are going to use this format, which includes the dash L option which provides information, uh, it's a long format, and it includes uh, lux information. As you can see, it also requires a process ID. Uh, so the, our next step is going to get the process ID of our Java process. There are a couple ways to get the process ID. One is using the JPS command. Um, there are several ways to invoke it. Uh, the option dash L shows us the class name that was that is being executed. Here we see two processes. One is JPS itself, which is um, Java application, and in this case our Bootstrap application, which is Tomcat that is running al fresco. The process ID is here. 12780. Uh, an alternative method is using the ps command and then we can filter using grep looking for the java string. And here we go. Here is our process. Again we have process 12780. Now we are ready to execute the JSTAG command. Very important to use the dash L. And now I'm going to paste here the process ID. And ready. Voila. Oh boy, that was a lot of information, which is really hard to read. Uh, discussing what is in the JSTAG output is really beyond this little tutorial, but uh, I may discuss this in a future video. So, uh, obviously we cannot use this information just like that, so we typically save this into a um, text file. I'm going to call it uh, JSTAG1. But you could name it uh, anything, like uh, my thread dumps, whatever. Now I'm gonna spec this file. Okay, and here we have it. So what we're going to do is to generate another screenshot. I mean, another uh, snapshot of the Java threads. We wait five seconds, 10 seconds, it depends on your situation. And we wait another 10 seconds. I'm not going to wait the, the full 10 seconds. Trying to generate the thread dumps manually it's a bit cumbersome and not a very good idea if we are running the threads for a long time. So it's better to use a script. The script that I am showing here, the mpt.sh takes three parameters, process ID, the number of times we want to execute it, and the pause between each thread dump. Um, you can download this uh, script from the web. I'm going to put that on our website. When we run it, let's try to run it. Um, 
we have to put the press ID, which uh, I forgot. Let's check with JPS. Ah, right. All right, so let's try again. We enter our uh, process ID. Let's try to generate this uh, five times. And let's leave just a one second interval. This is just for show, obviously. And here we go. Okay. Here we go, five thread dumps. Notice the name. As we can see, it has a prefix. Uh, the name is thread dump. Then the process ID, the date, and the time when we generated each thread dump. Let's take a quick look at the script. We can see uh, it takes three mandatory parameters. It has a simple for loop. Then we build the name of the file, of the output file. And then we execute the JSTAG command, sending the output to that file. And then we put the script to sleep for uh, this interval. And that's it. So in this video, we learned how to generate Java thread dumps using the JSTAG utility in Linux. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it and we'll see you next time.